Greetings. It is the weekend of the Causeway Coast Ford Fair and I am in it number 127. So before we go to that we need to do some prep and that basically means a big mega detailing session. So I've got the car here and I've got my box of goodies down here. It's not just microfibers, it's all sorts of fun stuff. So yeah, let's get going and get this thing cleaned up and shined up and looking awesome. All right, so the first thing we're gonna use is Avalanche Snow Foam. We're gonna give it a good rinse off first, just using our trusty Karcher K5 on the medium setting, of course. Give it a good rinse, good lather with the snow foam, leave it for a while, then rinse it off. All right, so while Avalanche is doing its thing, I'm gonna prep my buckets, so, I'm gonna be prepping them using some lather car shampoo, also from Auto Finesse. So we're gonna get it nicely in the buckets. I think it says like, well, two to four capsules. I'm just gonna guess and make it nice and extra lathery just cause that's the way I like it. So yeah, um, we'll wait a wee while now for the avalanche to finish what it's doing, then we'll rinse it off and then we'll get cracking with the contact clean. Okay, so that's the avalanche rinsed off nicely. Got my buckets ready for the contact clean. Yeah man, lather is good stuff. So now we just need to rinse that off and then that'll be the first contact clean done. All right, so first contact clean is done. Nicely rinsed, looking good already. I'm going to do the wheels separately and you may have worked out I'm gonna do another contact clean later on, but stay tuned and you will see the processes as to why I'm gonna do that. Okay, so the plan was to take the wheels off, but there's a bit of a problem with my jack at the minute. So um, plan B, which is just to try and get in around them as best as I can, get them nice and clean, and then we'll move on to the next stage. It's handy enough that these Sparkle wheels are quite open, so I can get my hand right in and get right in at the back. So it's not entirely necessary to have got the wheels off. I really wanted to get the wheels off mainly to get at the calipers, but again, because we're quite open, we can get right in at the calipers anyway. So it's not a big deal, but it is kind of more annoying that my jack is broken, but uh, I'm gonna have to get that sorted out and that, that'll be a story for a different day. Okay, so that's the wheels nice and clean. So most of the rest of the car is drip dried by now. Um, so mainly it's just the wheels that are wet. There are a couple of wet patches here and there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my microfibers and just go around and just give it a rough dry, make sure everything's dry. And then we're going to go on to the next stage, which is a decontamination stage using Ferris Jeweler from Dodo Juice. And we're gonna use this all over the car. You can use it all over. Okay, we're good and dry. Now we're ready to give a good old covering of Ferris Jeweler to get rid of iron deposits. So literally just gonna spray it all over the car and then we just wait and it'll do its thing. It'll bleed out sort of a purpley color if it finds anything. Then after a while we rinse off and then we're ready to do our second stage clean. It's perhaps not so easy to see, but on, on, it's perhaps not so easy to see in the black wheels, but you can kind of see it bleeding, this purpley stuff. Uh, it's kind of just, you know, just going under the ground, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, time to rinse this stuff off and then we'll be ready for our second clean. Okay, so looking well thus far. These are our old buckets. As you can see, these are absolutely disgusting. So we're gonna get two nice fresh buckets and do our second clean. Second clean because anything that the iron remover may have loosened but didn't get rinsed off, we'll get, we'll get rid of it. But then also, just in general, stuff that I may have missed. All right, so two fresh buckets. I'm just using the same Auto Finesse lather again. I'm gonna use a fresh mitt, um, just because the other one might be a little bit dirty. And then it's basically just exactly the same process in terms of washing and rinsing off as before. Forgot to say as well, with the second contact clean, I'm doing a couple of sections and then I'm rinsing as I go. Just a little bit different, make sure that I don't get any like uh, like dried bits because it is quite a warm day. All right, that is the second contact clean complete and we're nicely rinsed off. So now, before we dry everything, there are a couple of areas, namely the wheels and the black wrap on the roof that are getting a slightly different uh, path from here, if you like. They're not gonna get the same second decontamination stage, and they're, they're not gonna get the same glaze and wax. So what they're getting instead is nano spray. 
So I'm using the Dodo Juice Nano Spray called Future Armor. So this will seal, it can act as a wax replacement or substitute, but for now we're just gonna use it as a sealant and also rinse aid. So I'm gonna give it a good old spritz around all the wheels up there on the roof, then rinse it off, and then we'll be ready to dry the whole thing off and we'll be ready to roll it into the garage for the next stage. Okay, so now is the stage where I get to use my humongous microfiber cloth, aka drying towel. Go over the whole car, dry it all off, and then we're ready for the next bit. So the drying process is finished, so that means our contact clean and all the stuff that we're doing out here outside is done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it into the garage where we can continue and do the rest of our detailing process. Okay, we have rolled it into the garage. So now we're ready for the second decontamination stage, which is going to be clay bar. So this is the clay bar that I have from Auto Finesse. And then to go along with that, we have the Glide clay loop. So process is, we, well, we get, we get a bit of our clay bar, we flatten it out a bit, and then we spray a pile of this on, and then back and forth motions with the clay bar and then we use one of our millions of microfibers just to remove the excess liquid and then move on to the next bit. Doing it, I think it suggests 30 by 30. Yeah, it suggests doing in like sections about 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. So let's crack on with decontamination stage two. Yeah, it just feels totally nice and smooth. That last section I did made the clay bar quite dirty, so now it's time to fold it over a couple of times and sort of knead it back into this sort of shape, and so then we get a nice fresh surface. Okay, so I'm still doing this bit right here, but man, I just I just had to show you like how smooth the paintwork is coming out with the clay bar. Like visually, you can see it. It's hopefully it's coming through in the camera, but it looks like. It's unbelievable, like it's so cool. I've just finished the clay barring process and it's a really, really nice job, I have to say. Like the clay bar, it makes it so smooth. Like obviously that's what it's meant to do, but until you actually do it, it's like I didn't realize how much of a difference it was gonna make. It's, it's pretty sweet. So next up, the next part of my process that I'm doing is polishing and I'm gonna use Voodoo Polish from Cosmic Detailing. I got this in one of my Because Race Car boxes and I just thought I'd give it a go, because why not? Before I actually start the polishing, I'm going to tape up some of the external plastic, some of the black plastic that are like around the trim and stuff. And I'm gonna use this tape right here, just so that we don't get um, any abrasives or whatever, or any of the polish like seeping into the plastic, just so that we're keeping it to the paint only. So the tape that I got, which I got from Auto Finesse, isn't really that great, kind of a bit weird. Um, I've put it along here on the windscreen and most significantly I have put it here where the wrap meets the carbon fiber wing. Because I'm going to be polishing here but I don't want to get any abrasives up here and damage the wrap. Um, so this is the most important bit. Um, I tried to put it on like these bits of plastic but it just wouldn't stick, it's, not, it's just a bit weird this tape. Um, so I'm just going to have to go ahead with the polishing and just be super careful. Um, I've done it before, it, I mean it should be fine but yeah I mean this was I would say the most important bit that um, I was taping up and it stuck okay to the wrap so that's cool. So, it's it to let it haze, I say that's a pretty decent haze, and then to buff off, so just with a microfiber, buffing her off. There we 
Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, that is the bodywork polished nicely, looking really nice and shiny, as you can see. Before I move on to the next stage, I'm gonna use AutoSol on the mountain and exhaust tips, get them nice and shiny, and then that'll be all the polishing done. So the tips aren't really too bad, but they could definitely use a bit of shining up. So it's very simple, like we just have some AutoSol on a cloth, um, just rub it in, polish um, until they come up nice, and then remove any excess with a clean bit of cloth, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, now we're talking nice and shiny. Took a wee bit of elbow grease, and this cloth is 100% for the bin, but worth it, looks great, happy days. All right, the polishing, nicely done. Now we're ready to add some nice deep glossiness, just to finish everything off and be absolutely ready for four there. So, I'm gonna do two stages. I'm gonna do a glaze and then I'm gonna do a wax. So the glaze I'm using is Auto Finesse Ultra Glaze. Why? Because it's called Ultra Glaze and that's awesome. So this goes on with a microfiber applicator as opposed to a sponge or whatever. One panel at a time, circular motion, get it all nicely on there then buff it off with a clean microfiber cloth. We don't want to leave this for too long by itself. I have heard of people using this and leaving it for too long and then it being a nightmare to buff off. That's because it goes kind of too hard. So definitely only one panel at a time. Then we can't use this by itself. It's not waterproof, I don't think. Um, so you have to seal our wax on top of it. Um, but that's fine because I have some nice wax which we'll see very, very soon. So yeah, ultra glaze and then we'll wax on top and we'll see how that comes out. Okay, so, Ultra Glaze, very nice glassy kind of finish, really nice stuff. So now, the final step is wax. You have to wax over Ultra Glaze because on its own, like I said earlier, it doesn't really do on its own, you have to seal or wax over the top of it. So, the wax I am going to use is Dodo Juice Purple Haze Pro. This is a high carnival content wax, but also has some sealant in there, so it's perfect, I think, to go on top of our ultra glaze. So that's gonna go on all the bodywork apart from the roof, which I'm going to do with Auto Finesse Glisten, just because of the matte wrap. Then also this is gonna go on to the wheels as well. Before I do the wax on the wheels, I've got a little cherry on top, icing on top of the cake kind of deal for my wheels. Specifically, new aluminium wheel nuts to match my aluminium locking nut from Richbrook that I got a while back just to replace the sort of slightly tarnished uh, steel nuts, which are absolutely fine, but just for the show, we want everything to look sweet, we want everything to match real nice, so I got the matching nuts, they'll look great, let's get them on. These nuts match perfectly, obviously, they're the same brand, same color, they look really, really nice, just real clean, and they're not really too shiny, which matches in with the, the matte nature of the wheels, and also goes nicely with the black on silver of the Sparkle logo. So now I just need to repeat the same process on all the wheels, and then we can get on to the waxing. Right, now we have those nice new nuts on there looking sweet. We're gonna give the whole wheel a nice spritz with some Glisten Spray Wax. So it's just spray on, give it a buff around with the microfiber, and we're done. Right, I've done the spray wax, the glisten spray wax on all the wheels, looking nice. Um, so as far as tire dressing goes, I had considered using the shiny garage cocoa tire booster, but um, I'm not actually going to use it because it's quite, it sort of makes it look very wet, very sort of oil slicky, whereas because of my wheels are matte wheels, I kind of don't think that would really go so well. Um, so I should have maybe looked for like a satin tire booster of some kind, 
Um, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to use more Glisten spray wax, put it on my microfiber and just wipe around the edge because um, it's actually doing a pretty good job and it's not adding any real shine. It's just giving a bit of extra oomph, if you know what I mean. So you can kind of see like it's not like super duper wet looking, but it just adds a little bit of something. All right, so now we're on to the final part of waxing the Dodo Juice Purple Haze Pro. I'm using the Auto Finesse Handy Puck with the wax applicator pad. And so, just a simple, simple, simple process. Wax on, wax off. I'm sure you've heard that phrase a million times. So we're getting a nice bit of wax onto our pad. Dot it around. And then work it in. Derp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp -a and then we let that haze up, and once that haze is up, then we use our microfiber, buff it off, and that's it. For awkward to get to bits, like in around here, that the handy puck won't fit into, I've just pulled the pad off, and just going in there like this, so. Right, the cure time on the Purple Haze Pro is about 10 to 20 minutes. So you can actually get quite a bit waxed before you need to buff any off. So I've got the whole front end just curing there, and the rear wing is ready to go. So we have our nice haze. Now we just buff it off. The waxing is done. I'm just going around now with some Auto Finesse Dressel just on some of the plastics, just to rejuvenate them. Also lift off a little bit of any residues from waxing and stuff that is left over on them, just to get them pristine. And then I'm going to use some glass cleaner and just go around to do the same along the glass because there's gonna be um, some little bits of residue, just maybe from sprays or whatever um, that is on the glass. And then we will be done. So that is the detailing complete. It was a big session, I did loads. I'm pretty tired, I could do a cup of tea. But it's done, we're all ready for tomorrow. I think it looks good. I hope you think it looks good too. I hope everyone likes it tomorrow. I hope you like this video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more content to come very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Here's some close-ups. I'll see you soon, bye.